Hello there. Um, I've just made another purchase and I'm really excited about this one because um, the item that I've purchased I used to have a long time ago and it lasted me years and I was so pleased with the item um, that I've just now seen it in Lidl's and I've had to um, purchase it again. Um, in fact, I've purchased two of them. So, here we go. I think it's how you pronounce, pronounce it. It's a uh, Valida um, electric sweeper and dust mop. Um, I'll get a bit closer so you can see the box. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it, Valida. Um, there we go. Okay. And just a bit of There we go. Right, I am so pleased that I've got another one of these. I really, um, I really am. Um, right, basically what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to read through what's on the box, then I'll show you the machine and just give you a run through about it. So, basically this is the Valida Electric Sweeper and Dust Mop. It's for easy cleaning of particles, hairs and fine dust. It's a durable Leon um, battery for maximum power. Um, it's obviously two in one, powerful cleaning, and um, because you've got the um, dust mop there. Um, it's light and very easy to use. And um, right, let's just see if there's any more information that I can very briefly just run through with you and um, let you know. Okay, here we have. The new electric sweeper, dust mop, makes your daily cleaning faster and easier. Ideal for all floor types, it um, contains a rotary brush to the front for sweeping par particles and hairs and a detachable dust mop on the back for collecting fine dust. It's lightweight design and um, oh, can't read it. And flexible joint makes it easy to manoeuvre and reach even the most difficult places. I'll agree with that definitely. Fantastic little gadget this really is. Um, right, here it is. Um, not a lot to it basically. You've got a brush on the front of the machine here. And that is detachable, that will come out. So if you actually get um, hairs tangled around there or bits of cotton, you can actually take that brush out and um, either cut the bits off or, or clean it very easily. Um, you've got your little compartment at the front here, which you just lift out like so. And um, it's very easy. Um, there's a little button on the back there. And when you push that, it will release the flap to let all the dust and dirt and everything out so you, you can just pop it straight in the bin. So that's nice and easy to um, use. I'll pop that back into the machine here. It just slots back in there like so. Plain and simple. Um, right, you've got um, your hole on the side there, um, which obviously to plug in, just pop that into the side uh, there and then obviously plug that bit into the wall. The light on the top of the machine, um, if it needs charging will obviously be red and then when it's fully charged it will go green. It does last quite a, a, a fair while once it is fully charged. Um, obviously this bit I'm now going to put the handle in. Um, then you've got a nice big button on the floor of the machine there. So when it's actually on the floor, you can just pop your foot on it to turn it on and turn it off, which I'll just do now with my finger. Um, like so, and off. Um, fantastic little gadget. Right, this is your dust mop. And again, very easy. It just connects into the back there. 
like so. And you've got your cloth which comes with it and that obviously attaches onto there for your flat surfaces like your wooden surfaces or vinyl or, or laminate floor and whatever you've got. Um, I won't actually use this because I have carpets throughout so um, I won't need to use that at present. I'll just use actually the machine as it is. Right, I've um, done the handle, the handle coming in four parts, section one, section two, section three and the handle section four. I've slotted them all into um, one and then I'm obviously going to pop it into the machine there and that will just click like so, so you know what's firmly in there. Right, that's basically the machine and that's um, all I can really say about it to be quite honest. Other than I am so pleased I've got one, or should I say I've got two. Um, I'm going to put one on charge downstairs and another one on charge upstairs because um, it's so annoying. You just get a couple of little bits on the floor, or half a dozen little bits on the floor, and you've got to unwind all your hoover and drag it out the cupboard or drag it upstairs and just to pick a few bits up. When one of these, you just literally take it to the room turn it on, they're gone, and put it back in the cupboard. It's, ju it's just so easy. Um, and I can't praise this little machine enough. It picks up, it's marvellous. It really is. So, as you can probably tell, I'm really chuffed with my purchase that I've um, made. So, um, yeah. Um, what I'm going to do now is um, I've emptied some of my hoover out onto my carpet. Um, my carpet is quite a short carpet so it will give you a good idea as to how it will pick up on a short carpet. And I've got a black rug in front of my fireplace. Um, it's very thick pile black rug. So it's going to be able to also show you how it will um, pick up things on a long piled carpet because when my when my machine went wrong after years and years and years of having it, um, I purchased two other ones in place of that. Um, the first one I took back, it was absolutely useless. The second one I've still got, but I hate using it because it just don't pick up. Um, it's absolutely useless. So, um, yeah, that's going to be discontinued. Now I've got my, um, my machine back. Um, but the long... Um, pile of my rug in front of the fireplace my other carpet sweeper would just stop the, the brush won't go round on it at all this one it will um, it is just um, it's just so good it will take all the bits and pieces off a thick piled rug as well as a flat, flat carpet um, and I'm going to do you a short clip now just to show you um, how that actually does that. Um, yep, so way I go. Thank you. Right, here we go. I've tipped some of my um, mess from my hoover onto the carpet here and I'm just going to click the item on with my foot and away we go. It basically picks it up the first time you just run over it. It's absolutely fantastic, this little machine. Um, it really, really is. I can't praise it enough. My other machine that I um, got um, is just rubbish. This is my black rug, which I've now tipped on. Normally, um, it would stop the brush from going round on most carpet sweepers. Um, it may take a couple of uh, manoeuvres just to pick everything up from this because obviously it is long, a long-haired rug. But it has just cleaned the area. No problems at all. And the rug is, like I say, quite a, um, a long, thick piled rug. So that has just now cleared all that off there and also from my carpet. So um, there we have it, one super little machine. Right, so there we have it. 
Um, now you've just seen the um, short clip of um, how it's picked up on the rug. Fantastic, how it's picked the bits and pieces up off the floor. So, <laughs> again, what can I say? So chuffed with my two perches up, up that I've just made. And um, I'm really pleased that I've now got another one. Um, if you're thinking of getting a um, rechargeable electric um, carpet sweeper of any sort, then um, I would definitely, definitely recommend this one. Um, so yeah, good luck with that if you are thinking of getting one. And I hope um, I've been of help to you and um, given you this information. And um, all I can say is thanks very much for watching and um, hope to see you soon. Bye bye.